I think even doctors and medical folks get confused about why we get diarrhea when we're traveling. People say, oh, I think it's because we change our dietary habits so we get explosive watery diarrhea. Well, I did my internship at Highland Hospital in Oakland and I never had time to cook. So every night I was going to a different kind of dinner. It would be Ethiopian one night and Indonesian the next night and Indian the next night and Mexican the next night and on and on and on and I never got diarrhea. And that's because I wasn't eating somebody else's poop. And when you're traveling, the reason you get diarrhea is because somehow you get fecal bacteria into your food or water and you ingest it. So pure and simply, you're eating somebody else's poop. So you have to figure out how not to eat other people's poop when you're traveling and then you can try to avoid diarrhea. But the truth is, if you look at the data and you look at papers that have been published by many people including the CDC, there is very little correlation between how fastidious you are with your food and not. And people that are really laissez-faire tend to get diarrhea and people that are really fastidious tend to get diarrhea. And it seems to be largely associated with the hygiene of the restaurants and the people that are preparing your food, which you have no control over. And most of us when we're traveling and we're going through Kathmandu on our way to our trek or whatever it is, you're often eating in local restaurants where the hygiene is very low and you somehow manage to eat poop in a restaurant despite the fact that you're peeling all your fruits, etc.